okay I wanted the last I wanted the last video to be no talking um, my neighbors are being very loud as they are children and I have two dogs and a cat and they don't really know the concept of being quiet so I'm going to try to show you some of my D&D dice and hopefully there's no tomfoolery or ruckus or sniffy boys but um let's show you some dice let's do these first these I actually got on Wish <laughs> I know there's a lot of videos about how Wish is terrible <laughs> but I am a diehard Wish fan and these are super cool they're kind of like they look like they would be like gummies like I want to eat them but I will not don't worry these are really cool with a light blue I feel like I don't appreciate blue as much as I should because green is my favorite color and I feel like blue is really pretty but I just never like I never if I have to pick a color for something like I never pick blue so I kind of forced myself to pick blue when I was buying dice try not to make it too loud it's probably just as loud as my neighbors though but I try not to get mad because they are little kids and when I was little I feel like I was probably loud these are kind of cool because they have a bunch of different kinds of blue in them and they also have gold numbers I was gonna say letters and then I was like I don't what are these their numbers yeah. and then a lot of people actually don't even know like how to use dice like these um, which I used to not I mean yeah I used to not know but like dice like this if it would focus <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna focus but a dice like this if it lands like that then you choose this number this number would be the answer most of the other ones are just whatever numbers facing up like a regular dice this is like a regular dice Those are the blue ones. And then oh, don't be so loud. These are like a red turquoise color. On camera it looks like they're black almost but it's like a very deep red with turquoise these are really cool these kind of remind me of like fire and water they look very magical whenever I play d and I'm usually something that has to do with magic usually a wizard or some sort of spell casting class. I tried to switch it up, but it's really hard. But recently I've been DMing, so I can't make my own character. So I end up putting a lot of work into the NPCs. And then the players don't even care. But whatever. These are my favorite because I love green but these are green and gold white letters and my cat is skedaddling everywhere little bit, little bit be quiet little bit the cat is mean to the dogs 
And the dogs just want to be his friend, so they keep trying to be his friend. And he says no. But these are the green and gold ones. Those are my favorite. And those are all the dice. I want to get more. I want to have like a crazy collection. I want to have a crazy collection of like a bunch of D&D stuff. But I have the player's manual and the monster manual. The player's handbook, sorry. And the monster manual. Wow. Everything is getting messed up. This is like the best take so far of not getting messed up and it is still getting messed up. Leave him alone. Loop it. Leave him alone. He's just a cat. I want to start making more videos, and I really had to set up some of the stuff for D&D, so I thought I'd just get started and film it. And that bone is why I stopped filming last time. Because they pick it up and they drop it on the ground. I also want to make a video of the dogs. Just like, really close up and then they could smell the mic. I really like that noise. Right, and ding. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I will see you guys next time. You guys should play D&D. Highly recommend it. You will not be a dork for playing. It's actually very fun. A lot of people don't realize, okay, that bone is probably so loud, so. I'm gonna go.